Hi, this is Mr. McGovern, and welcome back to the fourth video in this series on rotational motion. So this video is looking at being able to look at the different concepts of rotational and see what the equivalent is in linear mechanics. So I'm going to show you a table, um, moving between linear mechanics and rotational mechanics, and then being able to convert between some of those values. So here's a table here on the left hand side we have the linear names of values that you of, of ideas that you've come across in level two mechanics and then the equivalent ones are rotational ones in level three that we're meeting this year. So displacement, uh, which is a change in position of an object that usually is moving in a, a straight line. Rotational, we're now dealing with the angle. So how what angle is this object moved through as opposed to what is it being displaced by? So that's they're relatively equivalent. Whereas we have velocity, which is um, how much displacement is, is moved per time or meters per second. This year we're looking at in rotational, the equivalent of that is angular velocity. And we saw in the last video the other name for it is angular frequency, which we interchange between with the symbol omega. Acceleration is a concept we have in linear mechanics and we have a similar uh, concept in rotational motion, which is angular acceleration. So it's the change in angular velocity, um, which is measured in radians per second. So angular acceleration will be radians per second per second. Force is an idea that we use in linear mechanics. And so we have an equivalent in rotational um, motion, and that is torque. Torque is a rotating force or a force that causes rotations. Mass is a concept that, that we take for granted uh, often in level two. Um, we have to dive deeper into here because we have a rotational equivalent that's not exactly the same, and that's rotational inertia. We have kinetic energy, uh, movement energy that we're, we're so used to in level 1 and level 2, and we meet this year rotational kinetic energy, the energy of a rotating system. And finally, we have momentum, which is mass times velocity, and we have a rotational equivalent in rotational motion, which is angular momentum, has the symbol L. So three formulas which turn up um, at the start of the rotational motion section of your formula sheet is changing displacement to angle or angle to displacement. So because we're measuring things in radians, this formula is actually quite simple. You just times it by the radius. So we have the um, angle in radians times by um, the radius gives us the displacement an object's been through. If we want to change angular velocity to velocity, our omega, which is our angular velocity, is simply times by our radius, gives us our linear velocity. So we can turn radians per second into uh, meters per second just by times by the radius. Another um, example of the power of having everything in radians. And finally, if we have the angular acceleration, we can turn it to acceleration. Angular acceleration, the symbol is alpha. It looks like this A, but it's a, the Greek letter alpha. And we just times by radius to give um, acceleration. Now, all of these three are obviously given to us in our formula sheet. So as an example, we have a, a merry-go-round here. Um, we're looking at this boy on the right and this girl on the left. Find the distance the boy or the girl have traveled after rotating a half turn or half rotation, which is pi radians. So if we look at the boy with a radius uh, from the center of the rotation to him of two meters, he has traveled um, this using this formula d equals r omega, which was on the page previous. Uh, sorry, r d equals r theta, r being two meters and our angle being pi radians. So two times pi, we figure that out, two pi or 6.28 meters. The girl we can go through similar and has a radius of one. So we go through the same formula. This time we use her radius of one to find um, the distance she's traveled. And she, because she's not as far out as the boy, has only traveled um, pi meters or 3.14 meters. We could also find the speed of both the boy and the girl um, using our formulas given to you a couple of slides ago. So the boy with the radius of two, so all we have to do is find his angular frequency or angular speed, which is this one down here, 2.4 radians per second, and multiply by the radius, which gives us 5 meters a second. 
Now, notice in a couple of videos ago, I said that radians are unitless. So you see when I times meters by radians per second, the radians just gone, and we're left with meters per second. And similar for the girl, she has a radius um, from the center to her of one meter, so it's just going to be a radius one meter times the same angular frequency. It doesn't matter where they are, they're spinning or rotating at the same rate of 2.5 radians per second, and we get 2.5 meters per second. So this video has talked about rotational ideas or rotational concepts versus linear concepts. Early in the video I showed you a table where I, I said there's a relative equivalence between the two. And then we converted between some linear and rotational um, values, namely displacement or angle, um, velocity and angular velocity, and acceleration and angular acceleration. Thanks for watching.